Hey everybody, it's Rachel, and welcome to our third week of Kids Summer. I have been having so much fun with you guys as we've been going through our Kids Summer adventure, and I'm so excited that you're here today. Every single week of Kids Summer, we're taking new ground together by discovering more about the four truths we always want to remember. We have some special emotions to go along with them, so let's do those while we go over them. Okay, God is good. Jesus has forgiven me. I am loved and everything is possible. Today we're gonna to be discovering more about how Jesus has forgiven me. Jesus has already forgiven us for everything, no matter what. The Bible tells us the story of how Jesus came to earth to die on the cross for us and rescue us from sin so that we can have a relationship with God forever. There's actually a Bible verse about this that I wanna share with you. Psalm 103:12 says that as far as the east is from the west, so far Jesus has removed our transgressions from us. A transgression is just when we step outside of God's best for us. Uh, but kids, because of what Jesus has done for us, we are fully forgiven. We have such a fun adventure ahead of us today. Are you ready? Ahoy, Rachel! Oh, hi. Ahoy, kiddos! And welcome aboard the Friendship! I'm so excited to set sail for the third stop on our kids' summer adventure. Well, Captain Seymour, it's so good to see you. Aye. Thank you so much for inviting us aboard your ship and for guiding us through kids' summer. We're having so much fun. Aye, of course. Me pleasure. I love hanging out with the kids at Valley Creek. Well, we had a great time last week at Liberty Land. Do you want to tell the kids where we're going this week? Aye. Well, our next stop is... The Wild West. I can't wait. Kids, are you ready? All righty, kiddos. Now remember, you have to do Randy's mm -hmm. half Viking pirate dance so that we can be off to our next stop. Awesome. We can do that. Okay, everybody, stand up and get ready to dance. All right, everybody, stand up to your feet. Yeah. It's time to do the half Viking pirate dance with Randy and Seymour Crab. Follow along with us. Everybody do the way! Now jump! Now do the peg leg! Do the peg leg! Do the Jolly Roger! Do the Jolly Roger! Do the crab walk! Do the crab walk! Do the scallywag! Do the scallywag! Everybody do the wave! Now jump! Now do the peg leg! Do the peg leg. Do the Jolly Roger. Do the Jolly Roger. Do the crab walk. Do the crab walk. Do the scallywag. Do the scallywag. Great job, everyone. Aye, and it looks like we've made it. Out yonder Yay. be the wild, wild west. We are so excited. That's awesome. Okay, the kids and I are going to go explore some more. That sounds great, Rachel. Randy and I have some work to do on our pirate music for the new CD. All right, well, we'll see you later. Goodbye. Yo-ho, yo-ho, dibbity doo doo well, out here on the hot, there's a plane well, Hey, kids, I'm Dust Bunny Jim, and welcome to the Wild West. We got the biggest cactus, ca cactus, cacti out here, but watch out, because they ain't friendly. 
Wow. No, sir. Check it out, kids. It's the Wild West. Oh, uh, hello there. Hi, Dust Bunny Jim. I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, hello, Mary Beth. I believe you're all here today to talk about how Jeebus has forgiven me. Yes, we are. I have a Bible story all about forgiveness to share with the kids today. Can you help me, Dust Bunny Jim? Help you with what now? Who are you? The Bible story, Dust Bunny Jim, and I'm Rachel. Oh, yeah, that's right, Junie Mae. Jesus has forgiven me and all y'all. Let me tell you a story about forgiveness. This one time, I got stuck inside of a coal mine with just my wits and a cow named Brenda. She was nice and all, but she found a way out and never told me about it. So there I was all alone. Wow. Well, that's not the story we're going to be talking about today, does Bunny Jim. Um, Actually, our story starts in the Bible in Luke 15. Once upon a time, there was a man who had two sons. One day, the youngest son told his father that he wanted his share of his inheritance early. Well, why in the world was he asking for a hairy tent? That doesn't seem to be no. make much sense because that <laughs> ain't comfortable. Now, I know tents. Let me tell you something, Jane. Get mm -hmm. yourself a Coleman, not one of them pop-up tents. Right. If it ain't a Coleman, uh -huh. it ain't a tent. Now, say it with me. Waterproof. Waterproof. But no, okay, well, that's not what I'm talking about. An inheritance is a lot of money that is passed down in families. That's an inheritance. Yeah. Okay, so the youngest son asked his dad for his inheritance, and his dad gave it to him. Since the son now had a lot of money, he decided to leave his dad and his home and travel far away, and his dad was really hurt and sad. No. Oh. I remember the first time I left home, mm -hmm. I was just a tiny little lint ball. Aww. But my time in the dryer filter taught me that gain without struggle is just okay. That's a crazy story, Dust Bunny Jim. Yep. And the son in the story had a crazy adventure too. He wasted all of his money on expensive things and didn't make very good decisions. Eventually, he spent all of his money and had nothing left. He had no food and couldn't take care of himself. Yep, sounds like a millennial. So since the son had no money and no food, he had to find a job. He found a job feeding pigs, and he was so hungry that he would have gladly eaten the pig's food. Oh, I love me some bacon. Hey, Amanda, have you ever signed up for the Bacon of the Month Club? Hang on. What's your name and I'll no. do it for you. <laughs> Best money I ever spent. Okay. Well, as he was hungry and feeding the pigs, the son realized, my father has servants and even they get to eat. And here I am hungry. So the son decided that it was time to go home to his dad and tell him that he was sorry. The son knew that he had made bad decisions and he didn't think that he was worthy of his father's love. He was nervous about seeing his dad and planned out what he was going to say to him. Daddy, help me, I've turned into a pig. What? No, okay, so <laughs> the son finally made it back home to his dad. And as the son was walking up to the house, his dad saw him from far away. He had missed his son so much and he was so glad to see him. He ran to him and hugged him and kissed him. Well, why would he kick him if he missed him? No, no. Hey there, son. Yeah. Now go clean the barn, you! No, no, he didn't kick him. He kissed him, like on the cheek. Oh, okay. Hi there, son. Get away from here! Well, okay. The son told his father about all of the mistakes he had made and how he had spent all of his money. He said, I am not worthy of being called your son. But the dad loved his son so much and he was so excited that he was home. He told his servants to bring out the best robes and sandals and jewelry for his son to wear. He decided to have a feast and throw a party because he was so happy that his son was home. Why did someone say party? I love parties, except I can't dance real good on oh. account of me having no arms or legs and such. So I just move around and roll on the floor. Yeehaw! Wow. Yeah, I bet they had a ton of fun celebrating. So meanwhile, the older son was out in the fields. He heard all of the music and dancing coming from the house, and he asked one of the servants what was going on. Your brother has come back, so your father is throwing him a party, the servant told him. Oh, I bet his brother was so mad. 
dad out working on his on his daddy's farm in the fields, and then his brother comes home, and they throw him a party. Where's my party? Yeah, he was pretty upset. He went to his dad and he said, all these years I've been working so hard for you and never disobeyed your orders, but you never threw me a party. And now when my brother who left home and has made so many mistakes comes back, you throw him a party? Mm, no, he was fuming mad. That reminds me of the time that I took my favorite slingshot out mm -hmm. into the fields and I tried to hit the bullseye. Oh. One day I did and the bull got really mad and chased me all over town. Memories. Wow. So yeah, the older brother was upset and he didn't understand why his dad was acting like this. But then his dad explained, my son, you are always with me. Everything I have is yours. But now we are going to celebrate and be glad because your brother was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. The end. Oh, well, what a nice story, Emily Elizabeth. I love to celebrate. My favorite way to celebrate is by celebrating. Wow. What were we fun. talking about again? We were talking about how Jesus has forgiven me. In the story, no matter how many times the son misstepped, his father still loved him, and he still welcomed him home with open arms. And the same is true for us and Jesus. Whenever we misstep, Jesus still loves us, and he's still there with open arms ready to welcome us whenever we come running back to him. We are fully loved and fully forgiven in Jesus, no matter what. Oh, what a nice guy Jesus is. He's forgiven us all, hallelujah. So, we're throwing a party, aren't we? No. We've got to pin the tail on the platypus, stuff the stockings, and shave Grandma's face for the fish fry. No, Dust Bunny Jim, we're not throwing a party. You're supposed to be showing us around the Wild West today. Oh, the wild open plains. Yeah. The days of the cowboy, El Vaquero. No, we have games to play today. We're adventuring in the Wild West, remember? Oh, that's right. Welcome to the Arctic Circle. Okay, bye-bye, kids. Boy, it sure is hot outside. Okay, I'm going to go catch up with Dust Bunny Jim, but that's the end of our story for today. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.